The thermally modifying process is done at a very, very special kiln. Very high temperatures, um, 190 to 200 degrees Celsius, Celsius are done in an oxygen-free environment, and then steam is added. It's almost like a, a recipe based on species for, for the length of time it's in there, under what temperature and at what point do they introduce steam. In our application, obviously, we, you know, we're using it for you know, its aesthetic value inside this building, but outside we're using it not only for its aesthetic value, but its, its ability to uh, um, stay stable and um, rot free. What we found over the years and have they've developed more and more products out of it like these arbor wood samples is unbelievable uh, aesthetic quality to it. So like this is a piece of southern yellow pine decking. Normally when you see it in um, a big box store or a lumber yard it's either green treated or brown treated or it just looks kind of crummy. But by applying the thermally modified process to it, it what happens is, is it closes all of the cell walls, gives it the ability to repel water. Wood generally doesn't grow a lot longitudinally as much as it does across the grain like this. After being thermally modified, it was, it's about 50 to 60% more stable. The, the really interesting part about this is versus other like chemical treatments, it works really well on hardwoods, which none of the chemical treatments work on, unless except for the really, really nasty ones, right? So like this is a piece of ash from Arbor Wood, and it's their 190 series, which means uh, the heat recipe that they use on it, and it gives it this uniform finish, and it's cooked all the way through, where like normal chemical treated wood is, is usually reaches a certain point and never gets all the way through. They can thermally modify wood up 12 by 12 dimensions all the way through, 100%. Normally you would never use this outside, but by thermally modifying it, you can make decking out of it, you can make cladding out of it, you can make uh, handrails out of it. Some of the best studies in Europe are showing, just take your standard um, fir tree, you know, the alpine fir that they have over there, which we would use to frame a house here. You thermally modify it and they use it for cladding or siding. They call it, you know, cladding in their world. And it's been there for 25, 30 years. It's really exciting stuff. It's fantastic to work with. It's a little bit dustier than, than normal. The dust particles are really fine and they hang in the air kind of, but uh, it smells really good. That's what I think is the most interesting, is like this particular piece was cooked at a, a different recipe, like a 212 or 220, somewhere in there. It gives it this super dark look to it, and that it's all the way through the wood. It'll be like that forever. So it makes fantastic furniture because it's super stable. I think millwork would be great with it. What we're seeing here in the U.S. is just the beginning of what the rest of the world has been doing with it for the last 20 years.